okay so let's take a look at how to install anaconda python distribution that allows you to install various packages within your system so what we will do is we will first search for the distribution which is having an addition that is something we can install for your system there is also enterprise edition individual edition of this anaconda distribution so out of that we will use individual edition from official anaconda page so go to anaconda.com then go to product and here you see multiple editions so individual commercial team enterprise right so go to individual edition now this edition we have to download right and it's around 510 MB worth of package depending on your operating system you can go for different version so the current the version that is displayed here is 3.9 meanwhile if you check the version that is installed on my system is 3.10 now you may think that if this results in conflict but no anaconda can exist on your system without interfering with other packages all we have to do is we have to keep it away from system path so that it won't interfere with the existing version now once you download the package let's go and see so here you see the package and once we double click on it we can start the visit for installation now that wizard is started i can click on next then i can click on agree then here you see install for just me or all users so let's go with just me for now click next and it will ask you for path so if i don't want any uh, issues with saving editing files it's better to simply simply use a different path so instead of c i will go with d drive or e drive because often if your system is on C drive often it requires admin level rights to edit file or install something so in my case I moved it to D drive now here you see space required is 3 GB that's fine let's click next now here you see advanced option that says add anaconda to path variable and register anaconda as my default Python 3.9 now whether to enable or disable it is up to you so i don't want to use any ide that will access anaconda so i'm going to uncheck both these and click install okay now once completed click next and here is the uh, it says you should use PyCharm with Anaconda. Click next. Now, finally, it will show you option to view tutorial and also this getting started with Anaconda option. So, click finish. It should open those two pages. Right. So, in one tab, you will see installation success. Welcome to Anaconda. Here are some of the things you can do to get started. Right can register and watch the quick start guide etc right then there is also one thing which says anaconda nucleus where you have to register with email and password right so ignoring all of that we will move on to our installation so when you search for anaconda on your system you will find that it shows you a bunch of options like anaconda prompt navigator right and there is also anaconda jupyter notebook and spider id right we will go through each of them one by one so starting from anaconda prompt click open 
and this prompt specifically is for anaconda distribution so here you'll find that whatever code that you run or call will be in python 3.9 instance right so here you can simply type in python and you will notice that it shows python 3.9.7 so you can exit by typing exit then bracket and you're back to the prompt so this is your default anaconda prompt we have not added this within system path to avoid the clashes with the existing version which is higher than the anaconda itself right so let's close this now let's go back and type in anaconda and here you see anaconda navigator now let's wait for it to open now this is the anaconda navigator interface which allows you to install the packages or launch existing installed packages it also will tell you about the frequent updates available for the installed packages here you can see we already have jupyter lab notebook then powershell prompt qt console spider id right and few more things that you can install like r studio pycharm orange then we already have ibm watson studio cloud right so some of those things we already have or can install with anaconda navigator so basically here you see the applications supported by anaconda listed here right there is also one tab for environments click on that and you see the available set of packages that you already have it installed or you can search for them here and then install and there is learning tab so you can go through the respective packages to read about them and learn similarly the community right or respective packages where to find the help you will access from this particular tab so this was about anaconda navigator right so let's see what more options you have when you check anaconda so here you see one more option is powershell prompt so this is again just like the previous a default anaconda prompt except this one calls for powershell so if you type in python here it should again take you to similar python 3.9 which is anaconda specific python installation you can exit with exit bracket right so this so far we have seen anaconda prompt that is same like our command prompt then there is anaconda navigator to navigate through applications then there is anaconda powershell prompt for powershell access right then we go for search type in anaconda space and here you see spider id click on that And as you can see, spider ID that looks something like this. It's basically the ID for executing your Python code and viewing the output within the same ID, right? So if you go for tour, it should show you how exactly this ID works, right? So we can close this. Now here you see the left hand side for your code editing, right hand side within console, you can execute your code just like your python notebook it says ipython which is interactive python right and each of these is showing the cell right then there is also options for checking your source for console or editor right and there is option uh, that shows new to spider read through tutorial so we'll ignore that for now and like most of the 
Python ID. This two ID is specific for Anaconda because we have it uh, bundled up with that particular distribution. So it will be using Python 3.9. You can see at the top that it is pointing to that. Unless you make your Anaconda uh, connected to system path along with binding to these applications then it may becomes the default right so let's close this now one more thing left which is anaconda jupyter notebook right so as you can see it should be opening right so this is specific to our python 3.9 within anaconda so what we have seen so far is we can now check and go through we have anaconda navigator then prompt then powershell prompt spider id notebook right these are some of the things that you can get by installing anaconda python distribution on windows Now let's take a look at how you can install packages using Anaconda, right? So for that, what we will do is we will minimize this and here within our Windows search, we type in Anaconda and check for the prompt that says Anaconda prompt or PowerShell prompt, right? So go with the Anaconda prompt and here you see it is showing you your default current uh, directory here right so this is same as your typical terminal or command prompt and within that you have to type in conda install and then name of the package right so let's say matplotlib is the package that i wish to install right similarly if you want to update a certain package you type in conda update and then matplotlib similarly if you want to remove a package simply use conda remove and then matplotlib right so these three commands you should know now here you see conda install and then matplotlib and then hit enter and now it should install that particular package with instance specific to anaconda and so the package will be installed for python 3.9 because that's the version currently supported and here see the result once we run this is it is asking us for permission to download and install so proceed with yes and as you can see it has downloaded and extracted the package so currently as you can see added the package matplotlib also upgraded our conda package so you get the idea how to install packages with anaconda now let's take a look at how you can create an environment with anaconda python distribution so first thing let's check for anaconda package and here we see anaconda prompt now with this prompt what we're going to do is we are going to type in conda then create then dash n sorry dash n then r underscore env sorry r underscore env then space the next is r dash essentials and then r dash base now hit enter and it should start installing those packages say yes to proceed all the packages necessary for our language environment will be downloaded and installed once we finish this installation we will have to activate this particular environment now at the end here you can see all our packages are in already installed and now we can activate this by typing in conda in space activate and then r underscore env 
right hit enter and after this what we'll do is we'll close this then let's go to anaconda and then go for navigator here we have to find the uh, our environment so that we can access features specific to this environment now once the <coughs> now once the anaconda navigator is open what you can do is go to your environment and here you can find the R environment already listed right it should show you all the packages once it finishes loading now if you try to open it by clicking on this play button you can open the terminal open with ipython or jupyter notebook so let's go and see if it allows us to open with jupyter notebook and as you can see it has opened the jupyter interface for r so if we go for new button you will find r listed there and it will also show you that it has this particular R kernel on the top where there is a logout button so now you get the idea how to create a new environment in Anaconda and for this specific example we have learned how to install our language and create its environment inside Anaconda <coughs>